Christensen. Well, we are really seeing the same spots tonight just getting socked by the monsoon. Storm after storm after storm just training. That's what we call that training. Like uh, cars on a train track continue to just run over the same area over and over. That same training pattern that happened tonight happened last night in the same area. So we're talking super saturated ground here across southwest Cochise County and now spreading into Santa Cruz County, another spot where we've seen this training of our storms this evening. I want to show you, though, the watches and the warnings that we do have active right now. We have several. Okay, the severe thunderstorm warning that was posted for this area was allowed to expire at 1015, but now we have flood concerns. We have a flood advisory. That's the large box here, the larger blue polygon that actually does spread into extreme northeast Santa Cruz County, and then the flash flooding in that smaller box. That flash flooding includes areas now of Ramsey Canyon Preserve, Parker Canyon Lake, Nixville, and Herford, just to name a few of the spots there where the flash flooding is happening right now. That's what a flash flood warning means. And that flash flood warning takes us through midnight. The flood advisory, meaning you're going to see standing water on the roads, you will see washes that continue to flow, takes us through 1 o'clock in the morning. So a tremendous amount of water in these areas. We have uh, seen quite a few photos come out of tonight's uh, storm activity. The evening really kicked off with this dust storm. Mike Oblinsky took this one out on the Tohono Autumn Reservation. You can see just that wall of dust, sort of the front of that line. And then the rain. We had this one sent to I Contribute at Kagan9.com by Patrick and Benson. Some pretty good showers there. Another one, even that rain filling in underneath the carport in Marana along the interstate. Greg Gaunt took this photo and and at Sandario in Orange Grove, far northwest side, a downpour there at Melinda's home. Want to let you know, Linda Vista and Thornydale had about 22 hundredths of an inch of rain. My weather spotter Greg Peters from Corona Day Tucson said three quarters of an inch of rain, and most of that fell in about 20 minutes or less. So we know that we've got a lot of water to work with. This is something we call our precipitable water. I'm not going to bore you with the definition, but all you need to do is look at this gauge, and you can tell. Look at that, that bright blue all across Arizona. That's a lot of moisture to work with, sort of that water tower, that holding tank over our heads. Tremendous amount of moisture to work with. We are seeing that even at the surface, our dew points, I'm calling them juicy, okay? They've been in the 60s all day long. Some have been even closer to 70 degrees. That is some really moist air to work with. So why are we not seeing more widespread rain, at least in the Tucson metro area? One of the reasons, that water. Yeah, it was actually too wet to rain in some spots today, meaning the cloud cover because of that moisture, just too thick to really get that sun moving in, heating things up rapidly at the surface and mixing with those upper levels to get us those thunderstorms going. By the way, do want to point out that our high today, 98 degrees. So we did end our triple digit heat streak. We'll have to settle with just tying the longest heat streak at 39 days in a row. We'll be in the 90s again tomorrow. 95 for Tucson and 90s through Friday, 97 Friday. But as we start to dry out Saturday and Sunday, our temps go up to the triple digits. Guy? Thanks.